hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guys sending you the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us so thank you for your love your support thank you for giving these videos a like uh for a lot of you i'm hearing from you you're not getting the notification for the messages so again i try to upload a video at least every day so you know you can look out for that maybe just going directly to the you know with my name going to search and you'll see the message there or it will come up on your feed but um just so you know but what i'm getting here there is like a queen of swords who is very sad very heartbroken there is i saw the tower card there's a sudden change and upheaval this person's foundation is rocked to the core and again the queen of sword this person is bitter angry somebody who is very jealous um very cutting words very harsh vindictive malicious person somebody a female got a reading and for what i saw it's like she's at a desk and it's either via like zoom or something or with the phone but it was at the desk and it's like the reader was reading giving her this information it's like in real time you know it was like it's like she she got her reading and while she was hearing but what the message that she was getting she was not happy about it she was very upset she was crying a lot she was tearing up this this female i saw her like she's in her living room taking all these selfies these pictures trying to send them to like a masculine who is not paying her any attention and it's like she's very distraught this is what i'm saying i saw also that that tower you know with that sudden upheaval this person is not happy they're not happy right now so we'll we'll see we'll see what is going on with that wow yeah so yeah this person got a reading wow here it says move in silence move in silence judgment day so like i said you know something something is going on somebody is getting the news is like you know there's a shake up so when you think about judgment it's like there is a call you know the trumpet is blown and it's like for those who are ready they will be resurrected somebody is getting the message and the card that fell out here it says gossip gossip and somebody may want to spin the block they want to spin the block and this is what i'm saying somebody is like so distraught taking all these pictures trying to communicate with somebody and they're not getting a response this is the truth it's the truth yeah spirit is saying you have been through a lot you need to move in silence because somebody like i said you know they for whatever they're hearing they're not happy about it and i saw the tower card i mean something is exposed something is in the open it's like whatever this person has been doing is like judgment's been called on the situation and it's like god is blowing everything open and this person is not happy they're not happy at all well you're called to move in silence again spin the block came out so somebody may want to spin the block mm -hmm. it says your evil family member evil family member judgment day's call and again 
family, could be blood, it could be people you live close with, have a close connection with, that you call them family. I could be talking to a divine masculine and right after that is karmic feminine. Like I said, that person I saw could be that queen of sword who was very, very sad, crying a lot, just very distressed very sad because of what she's hearing you know and it's like she wants to entice this masculine could be this divine masculine to come back to her and she's taking all these pictures and it's like he's not responding to her and and yeah so somebody is getting the shock of their life it's like whatever tactics they were able to use in the past, they can't get through with it anymore. Yeah, it's like moving silence. This person could be very insecure as well. Who wants to... Oh, wow. I'm telling you, <laughs> the cards are popping out, falling apart. Somebody's falling apart. They're falling into pieces. And so this is why you're called to move in silence. Because it's like this this person. And again, the whole thing is that you're not going to be. Or this is not to scare anybody. Where you can't live your life. But again, you know, it's like why go to war where there is no spoil. You know, because the truth is that a lot of people, they did wrong. They know they are in the wrong, but at the same time, they can't stand up to the truth. It's like judgment, the trumpet is blown, and it's like they can't show up because they know that they have been doing a lot of terrible things. And at the same time, it's like they want you to stay there with them in those situations. It's like, I can't imagine how, how crazy this kind of thinking is where people are upset because you're not staying with them for them to keep using you and playing you. The only time they were happy is when they were able to get over on you. Can you imagine? But then you were sad. For some of you, some of us, you didn't even know that they were doing this. But they were having a ball. Well, they were doing this and it's like now that... Your eyes are open. For some of you, God caused a tower, an upheaval, a sudden change where everything is now out in the open. And I, you know, and the other person or people, they're upset because they can no longer have their way. They can't trick you like they used to anymore because it seems as if this person was able to take pictures, maybe send to somebody to draw them in, to entice them in, to lower them in, you know. But at the same time, this person was really a queen of swords. They, they weren't loving. They weren't caring. Yeah, so now this person is falling apart, falling into pieces. You're called to move in silence. Yeah, this person is a copycat. They're a copycat. They don't have an identity. I saw the insecure card earlier too. So for whatever the reading this person was getting from the, the reader, they're not happy about it. They're not happy about it. Judgment day. And you know, judgment is first going to come in the house, see the home. In the home, it's kind of like when you think it's peace and safety, it's sudden destruction. That's what I'm getting there. Judgment Day is called. And at the back here, it says tantric sex. So, you know, it's like there were some things that, you know, could have been going on in, in, in the home where you have evil family members. Some, some crazy things probably were going on there. Wow, gossip, sexual protection. I'll try to put that in the back. Sexual protection. So people could be gossiping. Some of you, you know, protect yourself. Because somebody could want to trap you 
with uh, getting pregnant as well. So that could be what the gossip is about. People want to trap you. You know, they could even want to say that you abuse or neglected them. So be careful with that. So somebody wants to spin the block. They want to spin the block. The card that fell out, it says game over. So game is over. Game is over. For whomever wants to spin the block, it's like it's finished. And I'm telling you, this is why this person, they are falling apart. Because it's like they are exposed. I saw the tower card. You know, it's like you're finished with that connection, that person. They are expired, disused, they're old news, they're discarded. It's like you're done with them. Wow. And here at the back it says you're envy. And this is not good. When people are envious, you know, they'll resort to any and every kind of tricks in the book. So, yeah, it's like maneuver wisely maneuver wisely mm. these evil family members could have been putting on a show like the song by Rihanna very entertaining but it's like now it's time to go the curtain is finally closing it's over now so yeah it's over for these evil family members because judgment day is here you know these people again their family you could have shared your home your business your life with them some way somehow and you realize that this person these people they were fake you know it was just for the smoke the glitz and the glam they were not genuine at all so it's so funny we have divine masculine and then at the back here so it could be a divine masculine you know, having a, a crazy karmic feminine. Yeah. Private relationship. So this person could want to have a private relationship. So that could be what the gossip is about. Somebody could want to trap somebody with SEX. So you're called to protect yourself. So this is what I'm saying. The person was trying to take pose, take all of these selfies, you know, like different angles, send into somebody to kind of like to lower them in, you know, to show them, to entice them. And here we have, yeah, it's a fake apology. It's a fake apology. If this person comes back or you allow them in, I mean, it, this person is wearing a mask. They're a clown. It's a show. Again, it's all a show. They're not genuine with what they're doing. You know, these people, they manipulated lies and control. It was all about getting played. He's like the puppet. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like he's, he's playing with, it's like puppet on a string. So for a lot of these people, they were playing you. You consider them to be families, but they were manipulating you. They were lying to you. It was all about control. And no wonder judgment is called. These people, everything, like I said, with that tower, it's out in the open now. You're finding out. And look, for a lot of you, you're approaching things with caution. Move in caution or cautiously. Yeah. Yeah, this person, they probably didn't even like you. A lot of them, they were keeping you a secret. You're called to trust your intuition. You know, it's like, it's going to be probably a lot of mountains. You know, a lot of obstacles. Yeah. It's like, you're realizing these people are trash. Or this person, you're discarding them. You're getting rid of them. Some of them, they were using you. They were treating you like trash. You're running away from this person, you know, because all they want to do is to fulfill their fantasy. 
you know, they're a bad choice. And we saw the card with abuse or neglect. So some of them, they want to get you trapped. And then they call the police to get you in trouble. See pregnancy test. I'm telling you, this person is crazy. Because they it's like in their mind, they probably think that you are their partner. So it's like they want to create this love story, this once upon a time kind of thing. You know, they want to get you trapped. Pregnancy scare you know positive negative so yeah so be careful with that yeah somebody may be trying working hard it's like this person is karmic you don't align you're a divine masculine again women you could be we could be in our masculine energy as well and it's a karmic um male who wants to have a relationship with you but this person is, is toxic. They are in their feminine energy. So they're probably lazy. They want somebody to take care of them. You know, so switch it however it resonates for you. Yeah, you're called with the four of pentacles here to hold back from this person who is falling apart. Hold back from this person and move in silence. Yeah, the fool. You know, take a faith move, move away because it's like judgment day for some of you. You're leaving for what you found out about this group, this family, these evil people. You're taking that fool's journey. You're leaving, you're walking away from these people. You know, for a lot of you, somebody's investing a lot with the seven of pentacles in the back here. For a lot of you, again, this is your home. This is family. These are people you probably invested in. With the seven of pentacles, you'd put a lot of work in. You know, you were very kind to these people. With the knight of cups, you know, you were very generous, loving, caring. You know, with the ace of pentacles, you know, you thought that you would have your stability here. But it's like, no. You're realizing these people, they were using you. Where is that card? So they were lying to you. They were not honest. Yeah. King of Pentacles. So I could be talking to a King of Pentacles. Somebody who is loyal, stable. You know, you are the one, like I said, the Divine Masculine. They're gossiping about you. They want to trap you. They want to engage you in some, lower you into some relationship. And then the thing about it is that maybe when, if they don't have their way, then they will tell lies that you hurt them and call the police. You saw that card. Yeah. So they want to come back. They want to come back. I'm telling you, it's like this person, they think they're on your level. Queen of Pentacles, they think they're on your level. This is what this person who is falling apart, you need to hold back from this person. Because this is somebody's like game over, falling apart. I wouldn't look at this person as in an upright. This is somebody who is greedy, who is selfish who very materialistic you're called to move away from this person yeah with the tower i'm telling you it's like an exposure an upheaval a shocking sudden revelation yeah this is why god is exposing this person and again right behind it is the sun and the moon you know it's like and the magician i'm telling you this is a witchy person. They want you to give them an ace of cups. But it's, again, justice is here. This person will be very burdensome here to you, ten of wands. It's like spirit wants you to move, move away. Because it will be very stressful. Yeah, it's like the wheel is turning in your favor. It's like if you're hopping a moving vehicle, you have to... You know, it's like pretty much 
move in accordance with it and just know when to jump on at the perfect time and so the wheel is turning in your favor it's like don't miss it because it's like this person again the wheels spin they want to come back they want to come back around for another second third time with a fake apology you know it's like again the eight of cups walk away even though you invested a lot the this person these people they've been putting on a show you need to leave you need to leave with this relationship with the nine of swords that's all it is they're gonna have you trapped and stuck that's all it is you know yeah with the star is like yeah it, they see who you are and this is why they want to get themselves attached to you. It's like it's not even for you. They don't love you. It's just because of who you are and what you have. That's what it's all about. Yeah, the, the, the three of ones, you know, with the spin in the block and the fake apology. You know, again, it's like they, they want, they're waiting it's like they want to hop on to whatever it is that you're working on, you're building. They may want to travel to see you. They want to come where you are. Yeah, the shadow side. I mean, again, with the sun coming in, these people, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like they're hiding in a cave and the light Whatever they were doing in secret is now out in the open. Whatever these people have been doing, the shadow side, is like th these people, they are in their dark side. Unhealed version of themselves. It's like these evil family members, they are exposed now. For all the lies, the control, the manipulation, they were playing you. And it's like they enjoy keeping you stuck with the Eight of Swords here. They enjoy keeping you, it's like sabotaging yourself. Again, they were manipulating you, playing games with you, mind control. You know, Sword talk about the things that they were telling you was a little lot of lies so that they could get to you. And a lot of you, you're called, you're asked to move away, to walk away from this. Yeah, with the Four of Swords here. You know, and the caution. It's like laid to rest. Lay them to rest, Divine Masculine. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, it's like they just want to win at all costs here. That's all it is. They want to win. But for a lot of you, you know, it's like these people, they will have to quit. So it's like you know what they're doing. You're, you're called to move with caution male or female divine masculine or feminine move with caution and i'm not gonna say what caution is or what you should take because everybody is listening the good bad and the indifferent so again it's just a lot of things you have to go within to pray about you know if it if it resonates or not maybe it's confirming what happened in the past maybe this is something that's going on now or to come in the future but these people they're not playing fair and it's like it doesn't make sense you try it because they are they want to win at all costs with this five of sword here with their conflict and their drama we saw the envy so you are called to you know, it's like, <clears throat> again, why go to war where there is no spoil? There is nothing to win here. So it's like, cut your losses, approach with caution, and keep it moving. You know, with the Knight of Wands, just keep it going, keep it moving. I'm telling you, wow, at the back here, the Two of Cups, I'm telling you. This person thinks they're seeing you, he or she is seeing you as if you are their soulmate. They think they're seeing you as their soulmate, but this person is falling apart. You're called to move in silence, 
hold back because again if you give in or entertain this person then they're not gonna take you serious or people because this is like a lot of people evil family members a crazy ex or somebody from the past who wants to come back so it's a lot of people here people are gossiping they're talking some of these people could be even trying to send people your way to to trap you to push people on you to see if they can get you trapped you know with getting them pregnant male or female you know guys women women could be coming to do this ladies men could be coming who want to get you pregnant so they can have some hold on you you know they now they're gonna say they want to have a private relationship with you when a lot of these people in the past they didn't even care about you wow well, i'm telling you these family members where judgment is called you know there were a lot of stress this is what i'm saying you invested a lot in these people you were carrying a lot of their burdens but you see once you let them go once you learn and you see what's been happening you will be able to move lightly because all of that burden is now off of your shoulders like now you realize what everybody what they were doing what they were working on and it's like now you don't have the burden of carrying those people i'm telling you willpower determination change focus on your own energies here move forward movement leave this person these people behind you know it's like get control of yourself get a hold of yourself here with the yin and yang you know it's like balance out your energies so that you don't come lean too much to one side to the divine or the feminine but be balanced and move forward persevere you know it's like there is no temptation you know that is uncommon to us so whatever it is that the enemy or these people are presenting to you you can overcome it you can overcome it that's what i'm getting here you know this person they want to spin the block but again they're coming with a fake apology they're going to be left out in the cold they're going to be left out in the cold because you don't want it and these evil family members they're just going to be left out there to watch to spy because they were trying to delay some form of news our inspiration for you they were manipulating you they wanted to keep you stuck by creating burdens and stress it's like these people didn't mean you any good they were distracting you it's like every time you want to move on to to doing something for yourself or move on to where you should be it's like, wait, 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 we have one more, one more thing to show you, something else to tell you. Oh, can you do this for me? Can you? And it's like they keep you trapped and stuck by manipulating you, by lying to you, keep you stuck in your head to self-sabotage. Now, everything that these people were doing or they were working on here with the shadow side is like the sun, everything is shining. I mean, she's like hiding behind a tree you know they were planning together these toxic people whether they're related you know blood or strangers you consider to be family and spirit is saying put them to rest because it's like a lot of them too will want to engage in conflict we saw the police car you know it's like leave it alone you you don't have to win the battle if you already win the war is like see through the nonsense because this is exactly we saw the Sun a lot of you are getting clarity as to what's been going on you know a lot of these people they, they behave as if they were so naive too you know as if the things that they were doing 
they were honest, you know, it's like innocent when they were really causing stagnancy, blockages and delays in your life. Yeah, it's like, see, wow, queen of pentacles with justice. Yeah, it's like God has what you need for you. You're going to meet the real queen of pentacles here. And this will be your justice. This will be your karma. And again, it talks about judgment, truth, fairness. This is what is fair for you. The real divine feminine, the real queen of pentacles to match your king of pentacles. This, this is who is there for you. These people, this person, they were thieves. They were copycats, seven of sword. You know, just a lot of arguments and conflicts and fight, you know, because they wanted you to give to them. They love to take from you. But these people, they're with the justice, they're going to get karma. Like we say again, judgment is called on these people. And it's like, they're shocked. The revelation, the things that are coming out, they can't show their face. They're afraid to show their faces. A lot of them, like I told you, heartbreak. They're in pain now. They're sad. They're now stuck in their head. Wow. I love it for you. So, I mean, this is to let somebody know what is going on to avoid this person, these people, because this is what they're doing. Release all doubts and fears. You're currently undergoing changes that are necessary for your highest good. They are changes that have been long awaited. Leave the past where it belongs in the past. Trust that everything will fall into place for you in divine timing. Leave the past in the past.